لو ما اسلمتش خلاص ما عندهاش حاجه يعني هي ممكن هي لسه على دين المسيحيه ونكون لو لسه مسيحيه ومحمود الجواز ما فيش عليها حاجه هي زي ما هي وهو على دينه او بوي ذير از سو ماتش تو انباك هير نيكول كونفرتد تو اسلام اوف هير اون اكورد نو ون فورست هير But the question is, how much did she really know about the religion that she was converting to? I still don't know how to tell Mahmoud that I'm questioning my faith and whether or not it's it's right for me. Now, a lot of the things that Mahmoud is asking for from Nicole is non-negotiable for him. But Nicole is acting otherwise. Maybe hearing things from another member of the family will help Nicole to understand where Mahmoud's coming from. But before we get to this very uncomfortable meeting with Mahmoud's uncle, we need to see how the pair are doing after their fight in the last episode. As you no doubt recall, Mahmoud is sick of Nicole not following through with the promises she made him prior to their wedding, and Nicole is sick of Mahmoud trying to change her. Things got so bad that Nicole packed her bags and was ready to leave Egypt. But when we join them in this episode, it seems like now's the calm after the storm. Mahmoud is in reflective mood, and he admits that he may have made a big mistake marrying an American wife, especially one that doesn't understand the rules of Islam. She American, I'm Egyptian. She can be with someone he don't care about the clothes and he don't care whatever she do because I feel like I make her life more hard. Look, it's great that Mahmoud is finally identifying this because it actually means that they're one step closer to realizing their relationship is never going to work. Mahmoud is obviously very religious and he has certain beliefs that he wants Nicole to follow, like dressing modestly or covering her hair. And the thing is, these beliefs are so tightly bound to his core values, his identity, that even though he's trying to be flexible, the truth is, he'll never really be able to bend on them. I'm sorry, my love. This way, I don't know if I keep trying to keep Nicole or let her go. Now, Nicole made promises to Mahmoud before they got married. Promises about things like wearing a hijab. She now feels like she can't keep those promises because she made them when she didn't understand what she was agreeing to. And while that sounds a little silly, a little short-sighted coming from a woman of Nicole's age, it's not illegal for her to change her mind, but she has to understand that that will come with consequences. No, I love you so much. You're not sorry. You just want it. You just want this whole conversation to end, so Mahmoud is a pacifier. He wants to make amends and he wants to move on by saying sorry, but he doesn't really have a desire to fix what it was that they were fighting about in the first place. Keep this in mind because we're going to see another great example of that shortly. But Nicole is the complete opposite of Mahmoud, and she gets so fixated on trying to fix what it is that she thinks is the core issue that she loses sight of what she's even arguing about and doesn't know when to stop the arguing. Okay, I need to stop fighting. Can we? I love you and I'm sorry about what I said to you. So while these two are having a big old fight, Mahmoud's mum is just sat in the living room listening to it all, although she probably doesn't understand what's being said. Now don't forget, these two had plans to go and see Mahmoud's uncle, the uncle that owns a clothing factory, and their plan was to discuss their idea of starting a modest yet fashionable clothing line. But that was before the fight. With the fight spinning out of control, coupled with their poor timekeeping skills in the first place, they now find themselves running very late. Are you wait uh, for as long time? Mm -hmm. So we can go because they still waiting. Uh, I'm not really in like any kind of a mood after you know. I know, but like so. still waiting. Mahmoud clearly has a lot of respect for his uncle. It was his uncle that took Mahmoud under his wing and essentially acted as a father figure for him. He tells us that his own mum and dad divorced when he was young, so he doesn't want to be rude by not showing up to his uncle's house. But Nicole isn't really of the same mindset. Now I get that she's in a terrible mood. She's just had an argument with her husband. But at the same time, whether we're talking about Egypt or America, it doesn't really matter. You can't make plans with someone, run very very late, and then just decide not to show up. Like that would be rude in any country, wouldn't it? 
and it seems like Nicole eventually realizes this and she and her husband head off. I respect the uncle enough. Like we, if we have, you know, an appointment to go to the uncle's house, I don't want to be rude. And I don't want them to think anything's wrong and ask a bunch of questions. That's the correct decision to make Nicole. But sadly, if she didn't want them thinking that anything was wrong, well, she's about to face an awkward reality. You see, what Nicole doesn't realize is that earlier on the phone to his uncle, Mahmoud placed all the blame on Nicole. He told him that they were running late because something was wrong with Nicole. <laughs> You can't help but feel that Mahmoud sharing that with his uncle is going to lead to a lot of questions. The chances are Nicole's about to get blindsided and interrogated. And we already know that she doesn't do well in large family gatherings. So with Mahmoud's grandma, two cousins, uncle and his uncle's wife all in attendance, you just know that this is going to be a tough night for her. After a long day, it can be extremely overwhelming for me, um, a person who's like very introverted and used to living alone in a quiet environment. Mahmoud, on the other hand, well, he's over the moon. This for him is respite because he thinks that Nicole won't fight with him in front of his family. I feel good. We gone to my uncle's house and my grandma and his wife and my cousin here because like I'm sure we never gone to fight around my family. But with the anger from their arguments still fueling her, Nicole might be a bit unpredictable tonight. Now, remember when we were talking about how Mahmoud doesn't have any real interest in fixing his marriage issues? Well, here's that great example that I was talking about. Mahmoud wants to use this family meeting as a distraction to Nicole, thinking that by the time they go home, the fight will feel like it never happened. Nicole going to get like relaxed because she have like people around and after this, we go back home fine. Like nothing happened today. Yeah, all that tells me is that Mahmoud doesn't really know Nicole at all. In the two times that we've seen Nicole in a group setting in Egypt, she's looked miserable. She's looked really uncomfortable. So in what world does he think that this is going to help her to relax? The fact that Mahmoud wants to pretend like their argument never happened rather than trying to find a solution seems to be a recurring theme for him. It's just Groundhog Day all over again, and that must be insanely frustrating for someone like Nicole, who's obsessed with talking things through. But on that topic of talking, I don't think it's going to help her to relax when Mahmoud puts Nicole under the spotlight like this. Uh, how are how are you uh, today? How are you doing? You can see the Arabic. Uh, okay, I can. Yeah, you know Arabic. <laughs> I can please. Mahmoud, dude, didn't you hear how awkward Nicole was speaking in English? How are, how are you uh, today? Trying to make her now speak Arabic to your family is only going to add to her stress levels. But either way, after muttering a few words in Arabic, it's time for Nicole and Mahmoud to get down to business. They need to sell their idea for a new clothing line to Mahmoud's family. And while Mahmoud's aunt seems really impressed with Nicole's designs, Mahmoud's uncle is more interested in knowing what's the inspiration, what's the thought process behind this kind of style. هي بتقول انا فكرت في كده ليه ان محمود طبعا سالني ان انا لازم اغطي جسمي كله وده بالنسبه لها Nicole explains, with Mahmoud translating, that when she was asked to dress modestly, she found it very difficult to find fashionable yet modest clothing. Mahmoud's uncle seems impressed with her work, and it feels like the idea has legs. However, Nicole's designs aren't quite up to scratch when it comes to their requirements for modesty. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, if Mahmoud didn't want a fight, well, his chances are getting slimmer and slimmer. All focus turns to the hijab issue. And while Mahmoud's family do bring up the topic in a kind way, it is a very sensitive topic for Nicole. And right now, she's outnumbered, she's tired, she's just coming off the back of a fight. And you can 100% tell this is an issue she just doesn't want to be talking about again at this point. Mahmoud's uncle changes the subject to why I don't cover my hair anymore. I don't answer. And it's nobody's business why I'm not wearing the veil anymore. The conversation has completely turned. 
It's no longer about Nicole's design or her business ideas. The family are all now more interested in finding out what's the plan for Nicole to wear a hijab again. It's a complicated topic, and there's so many nuances to what Mahmoud's uncle is saying that Mahmoud is clearly out of his depth in trying to translate. Mahmoud's uncle wants Nicole to understand that they don't want to rush her. She has to want to wear the hijab. She has to enjoy putting it on every day. But make no mistake, ultimately, they expect her to wear one. He talk about, yeah, you have to do to, like, as Muslim, you have to do. Mahmoud's uncle then quotes a religious passage from the Quran explaining why women have to cover their hair. But what's really interesting here isn't so much the religious passage, but more so what he reveals next. <laughs> Remember, Nicole didn't need to convert. She's already told us that she chose to. It was her own decision. She could have still married Mahmoud and remained Christian. I converted, yeah. I did convert. So you had to... I didn't have to, no. I chose to. So if I understand correctly, these are all problems of Nicole's own making. If she hadn't converted in the first place, there would be no problem. It's crazy. I'm having trouble understanding why she converted. Did she feel pressure to, or did she just fall in love with the religion? Because here's what she told her parents. It seemed very impulsive. I love that Mahmoud loves his religion so much. And so I thought, wow, maybe, I mean, maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, who would have thought it? With reasoning like that, is it any wonder, is it any surprise that she's now having a crisis of faith? I feel really, really uncomfortable because I'm having a bit of a crisis of faith. Mahmoud never forced me to convert to Islam. That was my choice. Converting without really knowing what it entailed definitely feels like it's in character with Nicole. It's how we've been told that she acts. It's what we've seen of her on this show. She romanticizes things and she's quite impulsive and she doesn't seem to stay with anything for long. It seems like she was genuinely touched and she felt a connection to some parts of Islam. Perhaps when she was on that original soul trip through Egypt, perhaps seeing certain parts of Islamic life through the lens of being a tourist gave her a distorted vision of what life would be like if she could converted to Islam. However, when she was eventually faced with Mahmoud's strict practicing household, she felt blindsided. She felt completely unprepared. And now she's unwilling to follow their rules. I don't know if it's actually like Islam that I'm having a crisis with, or if it's like Mahmoud's rules. They kind of get like all mixed up together. We can see that Mahmoud's family is very conservative. Look at his aunt. She's not wearing a hijab. She's wearing a burqa covered head to toe. Even amongst Muslims, that's as conservative as it gets. Nicole's in over her head here. This is a very conservative household. And sure, the expectation that they have for Nicole is quite light in comparison because she's a foreigner. They accept that. But there is still an expectation. This idea that Nicole has that she'll be able to talk her way out of not wearing a hijab seems like a pipe dream. All that's going to happen here, and we can all see it a mile off, is Nicole's just going to keep postponing the issue, which will eventually cause irreparable strain between herself, Mahmoud, and his entire family. I don't see how they're going to to be able to overcome it. In the end of the day, we don't have to worry about it. We have to know how to wear it, 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 how to wear it. Mahmoud's family seem to be putting the responsibility on Mahmoud. As the man, as the one who's been brought up a Muslim, it's almost entirely his responsibility to educate and inform Nicole. His family expect him to teach her how to pray, to understand why she needs to dress a certain way. But Mahmoud knows that it's not that easy with Nicole. As I'm her husband, I'm the one who have to teach her how to pray, how to be Muslim in a way, but like I have a lot of stress because I don't want to push here. The only thing he's pressured her about so far has been her clothing. And that's been a huge issue for them for the entirety of their relationship. Mahmoud's scared about what will happen if he begins to also pressure her to have to pray and to also have to wear a hijab. Because we all know the answer to that, don't we? She's not going to take it. She's going to up and leave Egypt forever. That is one thing you can be sure of. 
I still don't know how to tell Mahmoud that I'm questioning my faith and whether or not it's it's right for me because I think it would jeopardize our relationship. And that is a very curious admission from Nicole. Only moments ago, the uncle was implying that Nicole could have stayed Christian. She didn't have to convert. But from what Nicole's saying now, now that she has converted, if she was to now renounce the religion and turn her back on being a Muslim, that seems like, from what she's saying, a much bigger issue. An issue that would mark the end of her relationship. So Nicole has to make a choice and make her choice is fast stay in the marriage and observe a very strict form of Islam, a religion she's not even sure about, or give up her marriage and be free. I think we all know where this is going, don't we? It feels like it's a matter of when, not if. 